Hello Taurus, this is Lisa with Heart of Inspiration. Make sure these are right. Or here for your March 2019 reading. If this is your first time here, welcome. Thank you for joining. Uh, if you're a return frequent flyer, put on your seat, belt, honey. This might be a little bit of a bumpy ride, but we're going to get through it all, okay? Um, wow. Okay, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing. If you're new, if you haven't already subscribed yet, I don't know why you haven't. Please be sure to do so, Taurus. We're going to pull your um, general reading. Now, this is the general, so this is for... Um, sun, moon, and rising as I am putting up the remainder of the um, March readings. Um, if this does not immediately resonate with you. Please feel free to check your moon and your rising. So let's get some more for Taurus here. Taurus for 2000. Man, I'll tell you guys, uh, March of 2019 is shaping up to be quite a... Um, significant month clearly that wanted to be seen um and um do check out the discussions that we are having about the mercury retrograde that starts march 5th and goes all the way through until mercury goes direct on march 28th and then um also the new moon that all that starts march 6th some um websites have it starting on march 5th one more card please for taurus um and uh that's significant we've got a super moon some people say start on the 19th but i'm seeing the majority of folks saying that the full moon super moon will be on the 21st which is the first day of aries just outside of pisces um but that should be i believe the spring equinox as well all right, we're going to let those two be what they want to be. All right, here we go. So here we go for March. And we've got the card cam, excuse me, down in that there corner. So we've got card cam, we got Lisa cam. You can see everything that's going on all at one time, okay? So what we have at the bottom of the deck is we do have the Ace of Crystals. I am using the Star Child tarot deck okay for your general reading so uh ace of crystals is like the ace of pentacles man brand new prosperous starts in your spiritual life and also in your physical life um we have transformation which is the death card that means you are really coming out of this cocoon state um there's going to be some time you're going to be in the cocoon state for a while, but you will come out of it, guaranteed. And you're going to come out brand new. And, oh, look at this. This is amazing. The magician as well. Again, I, what did I just say? I didn't even see this. Manifestation, manifestation, manifestation. March is manifestation month. And, I, and I'm and i just going to be singing that from the high um, heavens. And here we have the king of swords. Living your truth, owning your truth, your ideas, your ideals as well okay honing that living it loving it breathing it walking it talking it you may be also cutting some folks out but we'll see how that is all gonna go so here we have coming towards you you in your glory the higher font okay um Taurus the interesting thing and um, even though this is mercury retrograde in Pisces um I think for earth signs and for for everybody in general uh but what i'm hearing for you is discover yourself take this time oh thank you to discover your true self we also have the three of wands full of hope taurus what is it that you've always 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 wanted to do that you've known so deep down in your heart, this is what it's meant for, for me to be, right? And we also have the Four of Cups. Stop looking at that one stinking cup that's spilled and look at the three that's full and really contemplate, though, not the spilled, not the what you perceive to be failures. Learn the lesson from the failures and see how those potential, what people would normally call failures, how that really relates to the real you and your real passion and your real purpose. Because that's what I see. It's like you've seen this on the horizon. You've known that this um, 
this business, this spiritual practice, this whatever it is, um, your true self, you've known that it could provide for your person, that your purpose can provide for your person, but you've yet to give yourself permission to do so. Give your spirit man permission to take over, a man, woman. Give your spiritual entity your base root you who you truly are and you you've truly been for all eternity permission to provide for you and let it take off propel yourself into purpose let it take off and see what happens and this is a beautiful month to do it okay the energy you're bringing though is the five of crystals which is typically the five of this is the five of pentacles. So this feeling of being left in the cold. So let's see what we have in regard to that, please. What do we have in regard? Why is this five of crystals here, please? Yeah. You've been left out in the cold so that you can become, you've been in solitude for a reason. You've been in segregation solitary confinement so that you can have this nine of come emerge from it with the nine of cups energy loving yourself see the nine of, the ten of cups is really all about wish fulfillment and it usually people are just like this the love this one of the love and marriage cards you know one of the partnership cards and to me i love the nines better i like the nine of cups and the nine of pentacles better in some regards than the tens the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. And this is why. Because to me, when you have the Nine of Cups energy, and then you have the Nine of Pentacles energy, the Nine of Cups energy says, I love myself. All of me, whatever the world perceives as faults, and whatever the world perceives as greatness, I love every last bit of me. Every last bit. I love myself, I trust myself. That's what that Nine of Cups energy says to me, Taurus. And then here we have the Piscean energy of the King of Cups. That again is loving yourself in a practical, supportive way. Not an overly motherly way, but over but in a father type, you can do this. You got this. That's what that King of Cups. So you've been what you perceived as being left out in the cold. But really, it's just time to utilize the refiner's fire. That's it. That's it. That's all. Now, potential energy that could be uh, of issue is, or kind of blocking you, is this Queen of Crystals energy, which is Virgo energy. Um, I feel like you potentially are not feeling like you can manifest for sure. Um, that you're not sensing the sun is coming out with the sun card. Like, for whatever reason, it feels like Debbie Downer. Like, you're just like, I've tried this before. I've tried this before. I've tried this before. And it's not going to work. But yet, what's going to help you overcome that is temperance or some Sagittarius energy. Okay? A little fire. But balance it out. So you can't let your, um, you can't let this Piscean energy, this water energy, this very deep, uh, things are going to work out. We all good. Everything's fine. I just know that I know that I know that it is. So I don't need to sweat it. Okay. And the Mercury retrograde is basically like, ah, uh, ah, what's happening here? You're not listening, you're not listening, you're not listening. And it wants to move, but it can't move because it's in retrograde. So it's just going, I want to move forward and I want you to, I want to light a fire. Here, let me show you all the crap that's been going on behind the scenes. And yet, the Piscean energy is like, okay, well, I kind of already knew that and it's really not hurting me any. So I just don't, I need to kind of like not pay attention and run away from it. And so Spirit is saying, have some patience. Like, don't turn this into mud. And don't put out the fire with your earth. Both are necessary. The fire scorches the earth so that the earth can then rejuvenate itself and then the water comes in and waters the seed right because if you can burn some some if you burn things off the carbon and all the rest of the the base nutrients come down and fertilize the earth so don't let it scorch you completely but you got to let go with the oppression card of the toxic energies and have patience with yourself 
have patience with the fact that like don't like deride yourself or be like oh my gosh I wish I had seen that this person really wasn't suited for this position right now because you're going through your awakening so and that requires patience like you're moving up another level and this is something that's happening all across the board so don't feel like you're being singled out or whatnot you know what i'm saying you're special but you ain't that special okay you're special but not that special so what you need to really be thinking about is the fact that you're going through this awakening you're leveling up you have to have patience with yourself that you're learning new skills you're having new gifts you're finally opening up to all the possibilities that are there but you got to get over this feeling like it's never worked before so it ain't gonna work now you got to get past that because it is everything that has happened before all that foundational failure this blah 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 blah, blah. all of that stuff happened before for a reason so that now so that now you can take all those lessons and move them right now to the here and now and say okay that didn't work three years ago because this well, I tried to open up another business and it was very similar, but that didn't work because I had this type of person working with me or I didn't read a, a, a contract fully or I was trying to get with this type of person, but it just didn't work. Why didn't it work? Well, they was on some ish, right? And you maybe didn't want to see it because you wanted the stability or maybe you held on too tight to somebody. Or we're, too, we're a little bit too selfish about some things, Taurus. It could be, right? But this is a time to look and really and truly examine yourself. And be okay with it. Like, own it. It's okay. Forgive yourself and move, on, move it along. Learn the lesson. Heal it. Forgive it. Heal it. Move it along. Okay? So potential outcome or advice. We have both the Seven of Swords... And we have the Queen of Wands. Now, she's been already coming out all day, every day, twice on Sunday. And this darn Seven of Swords is coming out too. And this is what I'm seeing out of these. I don't even need to clarify. I'm going to tell you straight up right now. Do not steal your own joy from yourself. Do not steal your own self-confidence from yourself. Do not let it, the world take it from you either. Stop listening to what the world is telling you about you and you be you. You stand up in all of your glory. Because remember what's coming in it's all you in all your glory it's all you everything that's beautiful and everything that might be a little challenging is all rushing in it's time to be true to thyself it's time to work on the wounds and heal them it's time to work on that that false narrative and heal it it's time Stop stealing your own joy and your own peace and your own passions from yourself. Stop putting out your fire. Stop putting it out. Yeah, because you're about to move into life purpose with the four of wands. It will feel very overwhelming because what are these things? Oh, these are emotions. Oh, it's gonna. There's water coming. Don't stop it. It might keep you, you've been up at night because you can't sleep and you can't like, you're just like, there's something more, there's something more. I know I should be doing something different. And I think it's because you're kind of unwilling to be open and honest with yourself. And that's what this Mercury retrograde and this new moon phase is doing for you. But see, here we go again. Renewed, renewed, fresh, fun, enjoy it. Will you embrace the emotion? I know it's not comfy. But just embrace it because, again, we are going through a transformation with the transformation card. And here is a new way of thinking with the Knight of Swords, a new way of being, a new narrative, a new walk, a new talk, a new thought. How beautiful is that? All right. Now, let's put these cards away. And let's see what potentially... I'm going to pull just a couple of the um, Archangel Power cards. I haven't pulled them for everybody, but I just feel like I need to pull them for you. Oh, that's beautiful. Do we have one more for Taurus? 
beautiful yeah so overall right yes leap of faith archangel metatron believe in yourself listen to your heart do what gives you joy because we also have then the star which is archangel Jophiel. a dream come true believe in yourself the end of a difficult situation and then we have the page of ariel which is like the page of pentacles how oh, wonderful new ways to make money new abundance new clever ways new ways um oh my gosh right new ways of manifestation reliable clever educated and balanced an excellent opportunity will be offered to you scholarships or the pursuit of education possibly it's time to get to work beloveds that's what i have for you thank you so much for joining me i so appreciate it um if you wish to work with me all of that information is down below reiki work um energy work readings and such and coaching spiritual and life coaching also please consider signing up for the propel into purpose conference here in madison wisconsin april 12th through the 14th let me tell you it's going to be an amazing time we're going to go through self-healing techniques how we're going to identify and triage energy um issues and others um we're going to talk about how to read auras and aura transformation. We're going to talk about mindfulness meditations and how to operate in that. And then uh, how to start your own business, how to set it all up. And then you can either become Reiki when attuned or you can choose our holistic healing track, which is crystals, herbs, um, past life regression, um, and much, much more. Just that whole, um, man, just healing from the inside out and also taking into account how crystals and herbs and such can also play a part it's 597 for a double occupancy 697 for single that takes care of your hotel your food all of your materials i'm giving away i'm giving you also some essential oils some crystals i mean you it this is just an amazing value so, I mean, honestly, this should be $1,500. I'm not kidding for this weekend. The amount of information and transformation that's going to be available to you is tremendous. So that link is down at the bottom as well. And thank you so very much. Leave me some comments. Let me know how this resonated with you. Peace, love, blessings, and joy be unto you today, tomorrow, and for all eternity. I love each and every one of you. Namaste. Bye-bye.